I think there's a massive rip brewing right now. And I think uh, there's really only a couple of things that you have to pay attention to. And by the way, if you're not like a full time trader, you should not be out there trying to do this uh, because of just how treacherous markets have become. There is no trend. It's very, very choppy. The rally this morning was led by the junkiest of junk. Uh, electric vehicles, Ar ARC was up 8%. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, I think what you have to watch right now, if Bitcoin can stabilize and this stablecoin issue doesn't look like it's systemic, or at least not this week, uh, that's important. If bonds continue to catch this bid, which is now on day three, and we see, we see uh, yields lower, that's important. If crude oil fails to rally here, uh, and even and even heads lower. That's important. And the last thing, Apple. Apple is the problem today. It's very rare this year that anyone's been able to say that. But when you see something like uh, you, you see Amazon up three or four percent and Apple holding us back uh, again, we don't typically see that type of market uh, in 2022. But if Apple could stabilize and catch a bid, if those things all fall into place, which they're trying to, uh, we could have a thousand point Dow rally. We could have a three or four percent rip in the now. Absolutely. Given how oversold we are, that doesn't mean the bear market's over, but these things do get a break every once in a while. So that's what I'm paying attention to. Once again, mm -hmm. Bitcoin stabilize and the stable right. coin things stop being a, 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 an issue. Uh, Apple, oil down, bonds higher. Those four things, if they fall into place today, tomorrow, you're going to get a really big rip here in the markets. Uh, do yeah, what gotta, you will with it, but that's how I see it. I got I to gotta say, John, I mean, Josh makes some great points here, and, and they're being, let me say, echoed by some of those that I speak with on a fairly regular basis who are, are growing quite concerned, I think it's fair to say, about what's happening in the crypto market and the amount of wealth destruction mm -hmm. that has happened there. I mean, we're talking like $800 billion or so in a month, four to six weeks. A lot of which, Doc, has come from 25 to 30-year-old people um, who can ill afford to lose the kind of money that they may be losing in this kind of a market. And let me also say that the, the concern is about when you have this kind of dislocation in, a, in any asset class, there's ripples to it. And we just don't know what those oh, are yes. yet. And, 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 and some of the smartest investors that I talk to are now calling this the no moss market. No more because they don't know what's happening under the surface with crypto. They're not sure how to read what's happening in the bond market nor the stock market and are confounded by the same things, Doc, that we talked about at the top of this show. At one minute, it looks like the market's gonna rip. The next minute, it looks like the market's gonna dip. And I don't know what in the world's going on, so I'm out, no mas. Doc? Yeah, well, um, as Josh said, uh, you know, the junk was what was really ripping this morning, Scott. Junk being like uh, GameStop, GME, it was up $31. That's the range on the day. Um, it went to 108, believe it or not, uh, on just this frenzied buying out of the apes again, because I can't believe anybody else is diving into this one, Scott. Um, but we do need to still see, uh, I don't disagree about the possibility of a rally. I don't know that we're there yet. I was talking with Patty, our producer, about um, the uh, uh, Mike Wilson call for 3,800 to 3,850, and we broke through 3,900 today and got very close to Michael's uh, higher end of that call. Um, but I haven't seen enough of the despair. To your point, Scott, uh, there are ripples that are felt when you shave uh, half a trillion dollars off of uh, the crypto markets like that with UST and with Luna and with the Luna C that has gone on over there with that uh, struggle to try to hold that stable coin together, um, the UST. But I think overall, um, we are seeing some signs and that interest rate picture, Scott, that's one that I drill right in on because you and I were gonna talk yesterday and then uh, you know there was a lot of interesting things to talk about in overtime, but TLT, that is one where we've seen big upside buying of calls, the opposite of what we've seen for weeks and months. So that means people are willing to bet 42,000 of those trading yesterday um, that the June 118 strike, we've got there today like that. 
We went from 116 yesterday to 11877 today. And when a bullish engulfing candle shows up twice in a week, Monday and again yesterday, um, which is what our technician, A.J. Monty, says, um, mm -hmm. I got to believe that his call to 123 might be accurate. If we get that, Scott, that's going to be a lot of great uh, uh, drive for the market. People will get a little more uh, sanguine about things rather than scared and desperate about things. Yeah. But Doc, John, have, TLT um, is HODing right now. Yep, yep. I, th I think you're right, Josh. Um, it, we're likely to see a breakout to the upside in this, which means, of course, TLT up, rates down. That's something that's going to be good. Watch and see if you see the tech stocks turn with this, if not today, Scott, tomorrow.